I look an absolute state. Let's change that right now. Welcome back to another vlog. Woo! My darling, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. Finally, I feel as fresh as the daisy. Sorry you're a little bit high up guys. Um, I just really need different tripods. Like this tripod is good for like when I'm filming from like further away. Like if I'm doing a room cleaning video and I'm like, you know, doing whatever. Like when I film me making the bed. But for close ups, this is the smallest I can get it and you're very high up and it's very awkward. So guys, welcome to another vlog. I haven't done a vlog in a while. I think the last vlog I posted was my Mallorca vlogs. I was on holiday. Oh my gosh, if you didn't see my room cleaning video that I just posted, you need to go and watch it because you understand how excited I am right now to do my skincare. If you've watched the video. Little hint, it's all beautifully organised in new drawers right below me. Right, let me just like take you through my skincare whilst I tell you what we're going to do today. I'm first going to go in with this Garnier Organic Cornflower Water on my reusable pad. But guys, so every time I've asked my YouTube like through community tabs, every time I've asked what like... Ah! what video you guys want to see from me my most request my two most requested videos are vlogs like daily or weekly vlogs and cleaning videos luckily cleaning videos will always be coming to you because i need to deep clean my room at least once a month so i will always film it so you're welcome subscribe and stick around for all the cleaning videos but vlogs i'm always like doubting myself i'm like really who actually cares about what i'm doing do you know what i mean but apparently people do care because that's what everyone always asks me to do they want to do productive vlogs like day in the life week in the life like all the different types of vlogs so that's not <gasps> am i okay like am i actually okay so that's what i'm gonna do for you guys so welcome 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 today we have it's not actually a busy day to be honest it's more of a just getting my own little things done and just eating and vibing because i do my work so it's wednesday right now middle of the week my work i work with pets so like dog walking pet sitting uh but this week's a little bit quiet i literally get two separate clients have cancelled on me this week which is fine we do have a we have two dogs downstairs that we're walking today so that's our work today well we have three including my dog it's more of a chill day but i thought that's perfect i can bring you along i went on a fat food shop the other day i should have filmed it so i have all my food stocked up so i'm going to do some cooking together when we're back from the, we're going to walk the dogs soon and when we're back i'm going to make brekkie I'm probably going to make beans on toast and you guys can be there and watch me do it okay next i'm going to go in with this vitamin e skincare hydrating mist i love this basically i had one and i finished it and then i used my elf mist which i hadn't opened for like a year and i used that and i finished it last night and now i can start my new one of these again and i'm so excited i love them There's, if you guys have never tried this you have to oh beautiful beautiful if you can see like loads of bags in the corner down there um, that's all bags that I need to donate to charity. I actually could do that today. I really need to get my eyebrows done. Like, it's not even funny. I need a whole maintenance top up. I need a whole maintenance top up. I need my eyebrows done and my upper lip done. My armpits need a wax. So bad. So, so bad. You know the wax strips that have wax on them already and you just, like, warm them up in your hands? They hurt more than the actual when you put wax on and then rip it off. Last time I got them done was before my holiday. I went on holiday July there. July the 7th, I went on holiday. It's now August. 
nearly mid-August. Okay guys, next I'm going to go with this vitamin C, she, uh, um, she aromatherapy. So don't know what that brand that is. I don't know what that's meant to be called, but this face serum. Oh, I love, I love face oils and serums so much. I love them so much. You don't want to put too much on because you don't want to be like oily, but you just want to look glowy and healthy. And that's what I'm going to do. If anyone has any tripod recommendations, like, can you please link them below or like just tell me what they're called below. I don't know what the best one to get is. I just want to upgrade my equipment, basically. Ring light recommendations and tripod recommendations, if you know any, please, down below. Right, next, I'm going to go in with the same brand, the Vitamin E Nourishing Eye Cream. Look at this. I got a DM last night from this really sweet French girl. She, like, lives in Paris, I believe. And she DM'd me using Google Translate. Um, basically saying that she watched my decluttering video and she really loved it and she had like, like she gave me an idea of what she wants to see from me in my next like decluttering video like things that satisfy her and I just thought that's so cute like I find it so I still can't believe that I'm I get messages from strangers around the world saying I watched your video I really loved it blah 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 and just like having a chat like that's such a weird thought like not many people can say that do you know what I mean that's not like a normal everyday occurrence for people like, like i feel like when a content creator starts getting those messages it actually starts to feel a bit like a bit too real it's a bit too real but i love it like uh, it's so exciting i can't believe people actually watch my videos from across the world and actually like them are you telling me it's not just my friends who watch my videos that's crazy lastly the same brand again spf 15 day cream don't forget spf ladies protect your skin It's been so hot here recently in England. I've been sunbathing for like three days straight. This SPF cream is so glowy. That's not annoying at all. Let me just get my hair up. Okay, so I look ridiculous. Oh well. Right, put my jewelry on. So, jewelry tour. I've got my Emporio Armani watch that my boyfriend got me. It comes with a matching bracelet, but I'm not wearing the bracelet right now. I keep this one on. It's, this is a Hugo Boss bracelet, again, from my boyfriend. This is a Swarovski. Oh, I didn't never know how to say that word. Swarovski bracelet that my best friend got me years ago. She picked this one because it's got a horseshoe on it, and I used to have ponies. I keep this necklace on me all the time. This one was from my boyfriend as well. This is, this is a Swarovski one as well, pretty sure. And then this is a new addition this little angel necklace and it's because my i got this from my basically i haven't i had an elderly neighbor who's lived next door to me since i've been here which is my whole entire life so she's been i've known her literally nearly 24 years the bond we had with her was like she was like our me and my sister's like nan she's like our grandparent she was like my my parents mum like it was that proper family bond anyway she passed away recently like just before my holiday and we just had a wake funeral slash wake thing the other day and one of her friends got me and my sister and my mum these because they knew how much we meant to her and how much she meant to us so that's our wholesome little story of my necklace this is actually her ring as well. This is a gold ring I put on my middle finger here. Then on my thumb, I put on this silver, like sterling silver ring that my boyfriend got me in Scotland the first time we, I ever went to Scotland in 2021 and I vlogged it. It's literally the world's shittest vlog because I don't know what I was doing, but it's cute memory. Then I put on this sick butterfly ring, sterling silver again. I got this from a market in Palenza. Put on my fidget ring. I got this fidget ring from a shop in Alcuda Old Town. And then lastly, this Pandora ring, which goes on this finger. There we go. That's my jewelry. It's walkie time. Oh. <laughs> Did you, you can't have walkies? You can stay on the ground, you're too big. So this is my dog, by the way, guys. My little bird. Then the other two were just walking. Cause they're our clients. Hi, Della. Hi, vlog. How are you? <laughs> How good are you? How good. Where's Kai's lead? And we want to speak in our nation. Hand on heart. So it's going to work. <laughs> We're going to walk the dogs. Come on then. Come on then. Everyone out. They know the drill. We're lucky and we've got um, 
a back gate from our garden that leads to this like meadow, this little field. And that's where they're going. Oh, need two hands. Yeah, he has. He used to be so aggressive. Oh, hold on, guys. I see Kai galloping through the grass. Ah, oh, the grass is wet. It's gonna soak straight through. Things in the house, like the, every kitchen cupboard is disgusting. Yeah. The fridge, everything is in a white mess. The shoe cupboard. I want to do one thing bit by bit. Yeah. And try and tidy up. Are you alright, Bode? Hold on. Okay, I'm on in. We walk the dogs here at night time, well, in the evening as well. Every time I've been here, I've seen the same. I think it's the same. Huge, massive fox, and one time. She saw it and ran after it, but then she came back. Um, but the rest of the time she hasn't seen it, but I always see it in the same place. I think it lives in this bush, like this big bush. I know, he's so funny. I've literally rolled my trap sheet up, I'm like an absolute weirdo. But the grass still has like morning dew on it. That's what it's called. Oh my God, Benji's tripping me up. So, <laughs> fly just flew on my face. The doggies look so cute together. Yeah, but it's so cute. <laughs> oh, hey girlies, I've literally just been sat in front of my fan for about 10 minutes because I was absolutely melting. It doesn't look that hot today. Like, it's pretty overcast. No, no, I was absolutely melting. Doesn't help that I was wearing thick track suits as well. So I have changed. I've changed into my little shorts. It's time to go and make brekkie. I think I do want beans on toast. I have like, oh, I make beans so yummy because I add garlic granules to the beans before I heat them up. <gasps> Guys, if you haven't done that yet, sorry for this angle, ill. If you haven't done that yet, you need to. It's a game changer. Here are my little beans. Let's just make some beans on toast. I definitely want a tea as well. Wait, I'll boil the kettle whilst the beans are in the microwave, so all the noisy stuff is out of the way. You know, what I do, yeah? I put, I put some beans into the bowl. I don't know how, I think I'm just gonna have one slice of toast, so I'll just do enough. All right, take this. You then take garlic granules, any garlic granules, and you know, don't be shy, don't be shy. What I also do for like extra nutrients, extra goodness, is I put some B12 flakes. B12 flakes, if you didn't know, are something everyone should be supplementing. The B12 doesn't come from any food naturally. It gets supplemented into some things like meat, because I'm vegan if you didn't know. And a lot of a lot of meat eaters try to say that um, B12, like you need meat for B12, but that's not necessarily true because meat doesn't have B12 in it naturally. It gets put in there, so especially if you don't eat meat because only because it's supplemented into it, you should definitely get uh, B12 flakes. And they have like a nice taste as well. They taste like they have like a very subtle, like kind of cheesy taste, so they're really nice. And I just mix it about, then put it in the microwave, cover it so it doesn't spread everywhere. I also need bread. Oh, this is the best bread, guys. Seeded bloomer bread, so good. Get that in the toaster as well. But I put it on for a minute first, and then once it's finished, I mix it around, do it for another minute, make sure it's all hot. Just take this off, give it a quick little mix. One more minute. Okay, toast is done. I don't put any vegan butter because I don't like it. I don't like butter. If I had um, already grated vegan cheese, I'd use that, but I don't. And I can't bother to grate it myself, so no cheese, but I don't really care. But then I'm just gonna put on a tiny bit of this herby salt. It's really nice. And I think I might be naughty. I might drizzle some chili oil, just a little bit of the oil because I like my shit spicy. And this chili oil 
is like the first oil that actually has some heat to it. Like all the chili oils I get at restaurants and stuff are really nice tasting, but they're not hot. Oh, there we go. There's my, there's my little brekkie and I've got a cup of tea and a cold bottle of water. I'm gonna go upstairs, eat that, watch some Big Bang Theory whilst I'm eating. And then I'll update you a bit later, but thanks for making my breakfast with me. So I'm about to play some Modern Warfare, but I thought I'd quickly show you my little update in like my vitamins and like my supplement stuff I take. So this is the same as last time I showed you, whenever that was. It's the Nutri- It's the Nutrigum, Nutrigum's Delicious Woman's Gummies, vitamin ones. I have all the vitamins in. These are natural mixed berry flavoured and they're vegan, obviously. So I need to take those. You take two of these a day. And then my most recent addition, I finally have some iron tablets. Now I wasn't told that I need iron tablets. Like I didn't get these because I'm low in iron, but I just got them because first of all, just in case, cause I don't have the best diet in the world cause I'm really, really overly fussy with food. Iron's pretty hard to get. Lots of people have problems absorbing iron, whether they're vegan or not. And also women, periods. Periods make girls low in iron all the time. And they're like the perfect little size for me. Cause I'm scared of tablets, but these are tiny. It's literally like half a Tic Tac. And they were literally like one pound something, which is ridiculously cheap for supplements. It's crazy. So I'd snatched two, I got two little bo bo two little things of them. Anyways, I thought we could play some games together. I just made another tea because my tea went cold. Let me just get you here on this tripod. I'm gonna play some Kill Confirmed. The other day I played, yesterday I played Kill Confirmed and Free For All, and I absolutely smoked everyone on Free For All. I came first, but I was coming first for like the whole match, and then, and then right at the end I ended up coming second, but I kept killing this one guy, like on repeat, he was getting so pissed off, his mic was on, he was swearing at me and everything, I was like, don't hate the player, hate the game, do you know what I mean? We literally have plumbers over. They're right outside of my room and I'm here filming and recording myself a big little gamer girl, I'm so embarrassed. There's so many noises going around you right now, I'm so sorry. Let's do this. My piss was so loud, apologies. No one wants an enemy be told. Ah. It's hard. Oh my god. So guys, an enemy be How does that even happen? An enemy be told is a big like gunship that um they're smoking me. You can't literally survive it unless it gets shot down. Do you know, I've been told so many times by like boys. Oh my god. I've been told so many times by boys that I know that if I started a gaming channel, they'd actually watch. They'd actually watch my videos. I'm like, thanks. Well, I just lagged. Where was he then? It's getting hot. I'm stressed. Run! Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm in sniping. What am I sniping?
I missed my shot. I'm fuming. I have all these bags of clothes. They're all like donation clothes that I need to put in the um, treasure shoot bin thing. So, and mum's got some bags as well. So, we're going to walk down and put these in the bin. I'm going to take her with me. On the way back, mum will come back home and I'll just take her around the block just so she can have a little walkies. My little walkie. Oh my gosh. Let's go downstairs. Oh my gosh. Ugh, I can't reach my hand up because I'll just bleed. Thank you. That's so satisfying. It is. It really is. I love it. Yes. It's lunchtime, finally. So I don't know what to make. Um, I've got one vegan schnitzel left. These are from the. The Mondo brand from Lidl. They're so good. I love this vegan brand. I also got some vegan tortelloni with meat filling. These are really good. I could have this. I could have that with this. I bought this this spicy arabiata pasta sauce. You know, I think I will do that. I think I will do that because I had gnocchi yesterday for dinner. So I don't really want it again today for lunch. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, I'm trying to find the best angle and there is none. There's actually no I need a new tripod so bad. I need a new tripod. These that should take like three, four minutes. I forgot to time it, but I'll just use the fork method. What I do is I drain the pasta and I just put the pasta in the bowl I'm going to use and then I make the sauce in the same pan and then once the sauce is ready, add the pasta back in, mix it all about and then I'm done. So here's finished pasta, if you can see, put that in the bowl and then I move the pan to the smaller hob, whatever it's called, and I pour some sauce in there's not that much pasta i don't need that much sauce then i start heating it up slowly a little bit of tomato puree in there as well my little trick which literally elevates my sauce every time is i add in some soy sauce just a little bit just for that extra oomph just like that garlic can't tell i like garlic a lot and italian herbs these are literally completely necessary they're so good. Some chili oil. Again, a bit of the actual chili as well. Okay, then lastly, put the pasta right back in. Mix that around. Oh, oh. <laughs> mix that around. <laughs> and that is literally it. Oh. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Do a little taste test. Mm -hmm. The flavors are melting on my mm -hmm. tongue. Mm. So yummy. So yummy.
Right, I'm gonna munch. I'm gonna munch, go back to my my little den upstairs, away from society, and I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna watch YouTube and vibe, and I'll update you in a bit. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. I was sitting here watching Gavin and Stacey. It's been about half an hour since I finished my food. And I've just found out that Molly May and Tommy Fury have broken up. They've broken up. I'm not one to jump to conclusions because quite frankly I don't care that much. But one of Molly's most recent posts is a video of Tommy proposing to her. And she wrote a really lovely little caption. And then she said it ended, she said not in a million years did she ever think this would happen, especially in this way. What did he do? I'm shook. Anyways, I'm just going to continue my Gavin and Stacey episode. I'm on the episode where they've come back from their honeymoon and they go to Cap Capriccio's. Is that what it's called? The restaurant. If you guys haven't watched Gavin and Stacey, you really have to. You're missing out. Hey besties. It's now just about to be 8pm. I'm home alone right now. It's just me and the doggies. Because mum and dad have gone to visit some family. My sister's at the gym. So it's just me here. I think I'm going to start making dinner. don't know what to make yet, but I thought we'd just do a quick little kitchen tidy transition because right now it's just ugly and i don't want to be in it when it's like this so i'm just gonna put all the washing up away i'm gonna do the washing up that's there put just everything away and then we'll cook in a nice clean kitchen so let's do a kitchen transition in three two one that's the tidiest i could get it slay right dinner time i know i have chips uh, this is my little drawer for my most recent food shop so i've got some chicken nuggets these mini pizzas which is so good by the way and i've got these fries as well my mum bought big hips but i might as well eat my fries first ignore the state of me ignore the angle ignore everything i don't know my tripod's upstairs okay so for din dins i'm gonna have hopefully i have salad so i can make a little salad with it because like I need to be healthier, but I'm just going to have my french fries. Yes, I write my name on my food. I write my name on my food. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. The french fries and then like three or four of these. Like they are actually teeny tiny. They're literally very small. Three little pizzas, fries and salad. That's my dinner. So these take 20 minutes, but in the air fryer they take them up. 17 so these would take about nine so i'll put these in first right let's get them in for 17 minutes and the pizzas take about nine move those here 17 minutes so in in eight minutes i will put the little pizzas in This is always so scary. Ah. All that because I'm just too lazy to get a glove on. But nine minutes left. Slay. You literally won't be able to see, but I'm chopping up some cucumber and some onion. Yeah, chop it up some cucumber and onion. I honestly think cucumber and onion is probably my favourite salad. Salad? Vegetable? I don't know. Uh, the onions are like colouring my hand. Get off me. Get all this off. Ah. Do you guys like vegetables, salad? What's your favourite? I just really like cucumber, it's just so refreshing. I love it. Just rinse it. Oh my gosh, did I tell I don't think I've told you guys. The other like two week two, three weeks ago, I was at a pub with Tom, my boyfriend, and like his old work friends. And tell me why I pull up and the side men are there. Literally all of them apart from KSI, they were all there. I was like, hello? Like, what the hell are you doing here? It was very strange. Put some salt on the salad. I also bought this massive tub of Heinz vegan mayo. 
Yes, my name is on it again. Yeah. Anyways, I'll show you my food when it's done. Two minutes left. Oh, slay. It's ready. A little bit more salt and chips. I always misjudge the sauce. Like, I either put not enough, so I literally have nothing by, like, halfway through my meal. Or I put too much, so I've literally got so much left. I think I want to put some sriracha. I never used to like sriracha, but I kind of like it now. I like I like sriracha on my like potato stuff, so my chips and stuff like that. I think I'm gonna have some fizzy water. That's gonna be my drink. And that's the way your body is. Look at that! Beautiful, beautiful. Take in the living room. I don't know what to watch. I think I'm just gonna watch Big Bang Theory. I switched between Big Bang Theory, Friends. Gavin and Stacey and YouTube. That's like my go-to right now. What are you guys watching? Let me know. Anyways, um, I'm just going to munch my lovely, not very healthy dinner and watch some Big Bang Theory. I think later we'll just do our bedtime routine together. Just our little one, you know. It's been a very chill day today. Very chill day. Oh, so funny. I was literally like two milliseconds away from clicking record and Tom FaceTimes me. And he's like, hiya, because he's wearing a work trip. And he's like, oh, he's like, just talk to me. And I was like, I was just about to film. He's like, oh, sorry, call me back after. We love a king who understands. Anyways, guys, I've just brushed my teeth and washed my face. Just thought I'd just do my little, like, nighttime skincare and just my nighttime routine with you guys before I end the vlog. First of all, I'm just going to go in with this little black head cleanser. And then mainly focus that along the T-zone. Guys, I'm so upset. Remember I said I want to get my eyebrows done? I found out today that my eyebrow ID is going to America for three weeks. What the hell am I going to do? So I'm just going to have to firm it until she's back, literally. Like, luckily, my friend, my best friend Tanya, who waxes my armpits, she can wax my armpits and she can wax my upper lip. So that's fine. I can wax my own upper lip. I've got little wax strips somewhere. But, like, they're not as good. I don't have... I want, like, the actual wax that i heat up in a pot and put on and then i wax if i don't have that i should probably get some but for my eyebrows i'm gonna have to just pluck away and pluck what i can next i'm going in with the same spray from earlier i'm so excited to get into bed i'm literally gonna play modern warfare i'm so excited and oh my gosh i saw the tiktok i saw this tiktok today and it just took me back it was talking about like bin weevils do you guys remember that game bin weevils and then it got me thinking about all the games I used to play. Let me know what, what games I used to play match the games that you used to play. Ready? Let me know in the comments, seriously. So, Bin Weevils, of course. Club Penguin, oh, of course. Mushy Monsters. Roblox. Minecraft. Dizzy Wood. Does anyone remember Dizzy Wood? Secret Builders, please. Someone, please let me know. Please, please remember it. But oh, it was an elite game. It was so good. Next, I'm going in with some nourishing night cream. I love this cream. It's literally the nighttime version of my SPF that I wore earlier. This is what it looks like. I actually need to get more soon. I'm running a bit low. Don't me forget to take my rings off. Lastly, I'm going to go in with a lip combo. So I've got the Barry M Watermelon Lip Scrub. Look like this. And then Dermav 10. I don't know this brand. I just picked that up randomly. Coconut Lip Oil. So like this. I try and do a lip scrub, like, at least once a week. And look how red they look. They look so juicy. Because it just gets all that blood circulating. And then lastly, my lip oil. I actually picked this up thinking it was a lip balm, not lip oil. But it's fine. Lip oil, lip oil would do. Alright, let me get the vibes right in my room. Like for bedtime, and then I'll show you what it all looks like. Because going to bed is like my favourite thing ever. I just know how to make the vibes right. You'll see. So this is my room right now. You know, pretty cute, but not very cosy. Cosy vibes in three, two, one. So cute. Like, tell me you don't just want to get into my bed and just have like the best sleepover ever. Guys, that's the end of my vlog. I'm literally about to get into bed, play Modern Warfare. 
and go to sleep. It's 11.35 p.m. But I hope you guys enjoyed this little daily vlog. I'm going to really try and be more consistent and, you know, grow and create a little family, a little bond. So make sure to subscribe, support my little channel. Don't forget to leave a like and comment if you enjoyed the video. Yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Make sure you keep an eye out in my community tabs. I post polls a lot there, just like little announcements and stuff. Go follow my Instagram. Everything will be down below. I'll see you guys next time. I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you.